Hey beauties, good evening to you. So um, a few days ago while watching the news, um, the NSWA, that's the National, the National Solid Waste Authority, they had done, I mean, you know, the relevant authorities had done a scope and some inspection of the damage that the inclement weather in recent times, in recent time had caused and... <laughs> You know, so far it is just a few dollars, a few thousand short of um, 500 million. Is it something like that? I think it was 400 and something million dollars worth of damage. I could not believe it. I'm like, what the heck? Mind you, you know, I mean, rain, water, sorry, should not be underestimated. And on, on that Friday, last, was it last Friday or the Friday before? Whichever Friday it was in fairly recent time. The rain that fell that Friday, I have never seen rain like that in years. I have not seen rain like that in years. It poured, it poured, it poured, it poured, it poured, it poured. You know, so it really created millions of dollars worth of damages. You know, um, it's going to hit the taxpayers, us, our pockets. You know, because you know that that's where the government get get their revenue predominantly through taxes yes they get grants yes they get aids they get this they get that a lot of and whatnot uh but it is going to hit our pockets you know um ah uh, it is unfortunate also because sometimes some of the houses that are built in unsafe areas like you would say river beds you know near near areas that are prone to avalanche you know, and um, having mudslides and so on. And then, you know, they have to start all over again, which is going to be costly. So it, ah, uh, I don't even know what to say. But my, my, I think a lot of my concern has to do with the infrastructural work that is being done, especially with our roads. They're in a terrible condition. The roads are horrible. They're horrid. And it doesn't matter where you go, whether you're uptown, downtown, or around the town. The roads are atrocious. They're awful. They're awful. You know? And the sort of pro-patch thing that they're doing, where you see a little patch here, then you go down a little, you see a lot. It's ridiculous. The roads, they need to spend money and fix the roads wholeheartedly, especially where, you know, they are prone to potholes and being damaged easily and create. And it's like a, it's like a fleet of it. I don't even know how to do it. You go here, you see some here, you go, you see... It's just, yeah, it's like a fleet of potholes. I have to call it that way. So it, what will happen is that we're going to keep going around the circle, not, you know, fulfilling anything worthwhile. Please, relevant authorities, use premium, quality, good, solid, material in terms of fixing the roads let them last for a time just spend money there because obviously you don't want to spend and give the public sector workers and increase their salaries by 100 percent. i don't know why but at least spend on the roads no spend sorry spend on the roads the roads are in a horrible condition them stay bad you guys have spikes on on the wheels you know so they can't feel it or you probably fly from your bathroom to your kitchen to your, then to your living room, you know, in an airplane in Air Force One. The rest of people have to go on their scooters or on their bikes or skates. And I'm saying, in other words, they, you know, they may not have the wherewithal to do what you guys can do. So I'm just asking you, since taxpayers' money predominantly, you know, is given to deal with the condition of the roads and um, the condition of the country, just use the right material to fix the roads. Don't pro patch it, I call it. Because as soon as it, do, it doesn't even have to take rainfall or the rain to damage it, any little thing, the, you know, and just the wear and tear of the heavy vehicles on the road. The wear and, you know, will wear and tear it, sorry, just the, the heavy vehicles on the road will create all of that damage and mayhem. So, ah. <sighs> Four hundred, almost five hundred million. I remember seeing it, and I waited because you know it was close to my birthday, and I never wanted to vlog on it that time. But um, I I'm hoping that a lot of grants and aids. I, well, let me not say that because I know a lot of grants and aids have come in to our country, and um, I'm hoping that they will go into the kitty and not pressure the people's pockets so much, since they also want more monies in their pockets. 
and you know uh give and just um what do i say fix the roads at, le at the very least and while you're at it increase the public sector salaries to 100 percent increase the public sector salaries to 100 percent what they're getting now is ridiculous we're not talking to people i'm already who have got the 100 percent 200 percent 300 percent you know we're talking the average you know the ones we probably call the non creme de la creme although we all are but you know please please i ask this of you don't ah it would be nice if the christmas could be good you know like december 20 or De december 22 could be great for the public sector workers it would be so nice but fix the roads properly and pay the people well guys Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message.